So there's a lot of people who are scrambling uh, at this moment. And the, the funnest people to watch scramble are the ones who want to keep getting invited back onto cable television and know that the only way they will be, the only thing they can offer is um, total shamelessness in trying to pretend like there's nothing here. And look, here's the thing. And we'll, we'll get into this a little bit more. But you have to remember that the last time a president got impeached, it was for a seventh order story involved in an investigation that had absolutely zero to do. It started with an investigation about a real estate deal that took place at least a decade before the president came in office. And he was impeached for something that happened three years into his or two years into his tenure as president. You, you I mean, it couldn't be any more far afield that came from a, a supposedly uh, through a real estate deal, through a supposed murder, through supposed firings of people in the uh, White House travel department through um, all the way through that to land on the uh, a lie told in a deposition uh, as to what the definition of is is in regards to oral sex. Which is still a good question. And so at the time, you had people who insisted upon impeaching this president because he was a stain on the White House as revealed in this uh, independent council. And the only thing I can ask is where are those people today? Where, where are our Lindsey Grahams of yesteryear? So the point I'm trying to make is you don't even have to be convicted of a crime to lose your job in this constitutional republic if this body determines that your conduct as a public official is clearly out of bounds in your role. Because impeachment is not about punishment. Impeachment is about cleansing the office. Impeachment is about restoring honor and integrity to the office. Where are our Lindsey Grahams today? Well, I'd answer the question if you'd like an honest answer, Mr. Cynical Sam. <laughs> I would like the answer, yes. Well, I went to Bill Clinton and I said, if you're willing to reach across the aisle and do with me one thing, I don't care where you stick a cigar nowhere. And that one thing was a preemptive nuking of Pyongyang. <laughs> and he didn't even respond to my overtures. In fact, he gave those goddamn little yellow bastards more rice bags, which kept them in power. But now Donald Trump, Mr. Trump's threatening to bomb Iran, which we're close to. He's threatened North Korea, and then he met with the fat little bastard, but we still might nuke him. And he's doing all sorts of other things overseas, which are... A cleansing in a broader sense. So there's the answer to my question. You think you got me in a gotcha moment, but I got you in a national security moment. Well, Go fuck yourself. Touche.